This is the hardest offense to stop in Madden 23. It has explosive run plays. Run. Glitch routes to beat any defense. And one play touchdowns that can score against every defense in the game. Break yourself, fool! So if you want to see a brand new offense, I'm using get results like this. So if you want to see what brand new offense I'm using get results like this. Oh my god! Stick around after the intro. The is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff the Mad Cheese as always. Got a full breakdown practice mode style for you guys today out of an offense that I've been running from the gun tight double. The, I've been running the Steelers for about a month now, and I've put out a lot of different offenses, but I've realized that it's really helpful for some people to see or at least have access to a practice mode version. So I will have links to this in my gameplays going forward where you can come right to this video. You might have actually found this video from a link in a gameplay video. So I'm going to always do a practice mode video in the future. And I'm always going to try Woo! to link the two, the gameplays and the practice modes, so people can come back and forth and learn how to run the offenses that I'm running. Now, this first offense I'm going to show, I just did two gameplays about it. It's one of my favorite offenses in the game right now. There's really only one adjustment you're going to want to make, and you want to put your best or your fastest receiver at this spot here. Well, I have Calvin Austin, who's not much of a receiver, but he's a 95 speed guy and that's pretty much all that matters so make sure you have your heavy hitter there i'm going to start this game or this video off rather uh with some run plays because there really only is one run play that i use in this entire offense but it's really good as you can see i average almost nine yards of carry so it's going to let's pick the halfback quick base to start on defense, we're just going to match with uh, nickel. So we'll go random nickel. Now, I already did a full gameplay video just about this particular uh, play as well. I didn't used to like halfback base plays. It used to really be more about inside zones. But I found a couple of ways to make this play really good. You don't have to make any adjustments. You can run this just like this. And you can see there's definitely holes to be found. Uh, you don't have to make any adjustments either. You can run this just like this. But I find it's best if you make this motion across. A lot of times it's going to, especially in zone coverage, give you a blocking advantage like right here. I mean, they look like they're in a double safety blitz of some kind, so I might not get the run that I'm expecting. But you have three guys in this area now instead of just two, and the guard's going to come across to seal as well. Now, a lot of times I'll find it's best just to take it outside. If it gets too jumbled in there, you can just take it wide and treat it like a sweep run. I find that when you want to set this guy into motion too, when you want to motion this tight end, just make sure to, to hit the B button and down so you make sure you get on your running back first and not actually on alignment because this is a dead giveaway that it's a run play if a lineman's name shows up. So I always make sure that I go to the running back first, then to the receiver, then to the tight end so that I don't give away what I'm doing before I make that motion. And then, like I said, you'll see a lot of times, if it's not there right away, there was actually an opportunity for me to cut it back, but I was slow to react. I really want to show you guys how there's more than one way to run this play. You can run it right up the middle, you can run it to the left, or you can run it to the right, uh, just as long as you get that cutback lane. But you can see right there, very thin line of defense, not a lot of guys along the board. You're going to get an easy run right up the gut there. Now let's get into some of the exciting plays, some of the uh, passing plays. There's so many good dink and dunk passing plays in this offense. I'll start off with one that takes zero adjustments, and that's the cross wheel. So this play here is really all about the double drags. Very good dink and dunk concept. I know a lot of people like to throw to the running back in a concept like this, and I can do that from time to time. Again, zone coverage, he gets open underneath, but against uh, man coverage, he can get open deep, and we'll really see what we got here. Like I said, I'm not big on throwing to the running back out of this. That's why if I try to force it, I'll probably make a mistake. I have a better play for throwing to the running back anyway, if that's something that you like to do. Like I said, it looks like here we might have that cover zero or that cover one look. Like I said, it's, it's an option. If you have a fast running back, you can throw deep against cover zero or cover one. But at the end of the day, if I choose this play, I'm really just working the crossers. And from time to time, I might go to the deeper crosser, which is the... Um, the B route going over the middle. We'll go and move on to another dink and dunk play because that's really what this offense is all about. A lot of really good dink and dunk plays. I'll go ahead and I'll switch to the bench next because this is a play that really works good against any defense. So we'll go random 2-4 once again. 
This play here, I mean, you can run it like a simple bench concept and have a lot of success. The wire out here is really going to be what gets opening. It's just about any single defense, and you can really run it the same way every single time. I find it's best just to put the X route on a streak and the B route on a streak, too, because the tight end will get open a lot. Although sometimes you could put the B route on a drag and give yourself a check down. You can leave them on that out route as well, uh, but you really want to try to highlight the Y route because that route's going to get open against just about anything. This here looks like a man coverage. You can see he's beating to the outside. He's going to be zone coverage coverages to the outside as well and he's going to have a lot more success if you use the hash mark glitch which means running it from a hash mark to the short side of the field so if it's run this way against any zone coverage that wire route's going to get open and even if it's a man coverage because like i said i've been showing that he's been being that too that looks like a cover four i don't have a really very accurate quarterback which is why i overthrow it but you can see when you run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field next to the streaking receiver like this it's going to get open outside of that every single time you just need a better quarterback than what i have although we'll call that a completion but at the end of the day this is something that you can use over and over and then like i said if you really want that check down i find it's best to have that b route coming underneath just for a quick check down just in case you don't have time or you don't want to wait for that develop, that route to develop that's another play that can be a one play touchdown against cover two so we'll go ahead and we'll pick that and we'll pick cover two zone it'll also be cover two man but we'll start with cover two zone Obviously, this play you're going to want to run from a hash mark to the open side of the field, and it's going to be the exact same setup. This is a perfect setup for cover two. As you'll see, the wire out here will get open up the field as long as I get a good pass lead or maybe a good catch and run. It can be. It's going to be an explosive play, but it can be a one-play touchdown uh, just as long as I get a little bit of a better uh, you know, series of events there. As you can see here, once again, like I said, it's really all about getting past the safety, which, like I said, might not be able to do with this particular offense. This is not really that good. Now, my favorite dink and dunk play is probably the Z spot, and this is because the running back gets into the action a little bit more, and it really has a lot of the same concepts as the first two plays combined. Now, this play here, I'm going to put the, a, uh, the B route on a streak every single time, and I'm going to put the Y route on a drag. Doing this will get just about every single route open except for the B route. Now, the A route is going to be a good route if you have a good tight end, as you can see right there. Good enough to get open, not quite fast enough to beat the safety, but you can see that it's a route that's going to beat man coverage most of the time, and if you run it from the half mark to the short side of the field it'll actually beat uh, zone coverage quite a bit too for the same reason i explained on the last play so we're going to do it from the short side like i said this will just help to get that a route open a little bit more as you can see it's a very good route it's a very um, you know good route when it comes to beating man on its own and it's also a very good zone concept as it got open there now the running back is going to be better from the hash mark to the open side of the field is that's really the reason i would run this play the most is because if somebody's running a lot of man zero they're not covering the running back properly where they're running a lot of zone coverages, you could basically take that running back underneath like the entire game and have a lot of successful catch and runs, but it's going to be less successful from the hash mark to the short side of the field because you really want to, you know, use up the space. So I'm really going to move this ball back across so that I can highlight the running back a little bit more. If for whatever reason your opponent jumps down on that, you always have the drag, which you can see right there. It looks like it might have been a hard flat defender and it takes away that short, quick throw to the, um, to the running back, but it doesn't take it away from the wire out which is really the backup plan and then you also have this guy coming open over the middle who once again if you have your user kind of stuck between the two depths between the zero yard depth of the, of the drag or the 10 yard depth more like a 15 yard depth really of that in route you're really going to have a good high low concept and you really have that all over the field you have that with the running back as you can see right there he was covered but because of the fact that he runs it out wide to the open space he's going to get open anyway so i really have these uh you know options high low on both sides of the field and it really depends on where uh, the defender goes now that there that would have worked if i was on the hash mark to the short side of the field so you really got to be aware of where you are on the field that was a cover three from here to the open side of the field the cover three cornerback deep will cover that but from the short side he'll cover the streak so once again got to be aware of where you are that's a man coverage like i said pretty much any tight end should consistently beat man coverage with that tight end route and even if he doesn't you have some really good routes on the other side the running back won't be won't meet man coverage but the x route and the y route both will be man coverage as well as the a route so now that we went over all of our dink and dunk plays, let's hit some one-play touchdowns. We'll start off with the best one in the whole thing, which is going to be the shot fade cross, which is going to be one-play touchdown against just about everything. We're going to pick that. We'll start off with cover two and work our way back. Once again, you want to run this from a hash mark to the open side of the field because you're going to want the extra catch and run space, but this is definitely the best one-play touchdown in the entire formation. Just put the Y route on the streak. That's all you really got to do. I like to put the A route on a drag a lot of times, give myself a high-low check down between the crossing routes, but you really don't have to worry about that because this route here is just so explosive and so easily going. It just runs to space, and it's going to cook any cover two, man or zone, which I'll show you here in a second. 
I'm going to run all these plays once because you really only have to see it once. But moving on to cover two zone, or cover two man rather, exact same setup, giving myself a dragging check down if I need it. The, the X or the Y route really is gone too, but you can see how Austin once again just runs right around the jam. It's based off of the formation. He's in too tight. Typically, cornerbacks or receivers that are in tight like this don't get jammed. You can see the cornerback, he just, if I motion him out, he'll get, you know, the cornerback will come down to press. But in tight like this, they really don't press. So that's why he'll just run right past it. He'll still try to press, but you'll see he'll just run right past it a lot of times as he gives him a free release. It's not designed to really be run that way, which is why it's such an easy play. So even if they press automatically he's still going to get around that and be a one play touchdown trust me so moving on we'll go we'll do some uh, cover three zone cover three zones a little bit different i have a better one play touchdown versus cover three zone which i'll show in a minute but cover three zone is a play that you can run from a hash mark to the short side of the field and still be very glitchy so put the wire out on a streak do my check downs again and you'll notice how the streak once again pulls the cornerback inside letting this guy go outside now like i said it's it's in a one play touchdown capable but based off of the fact that i'm on the short side of the field it really makes that window a lot tighter but the second he turns there i can try to get outside and if i have enough speed i could probably be going for one play touchdown with this against cover three maybe at a little bit of a shorter distance or you know if i had a little bit of a faster guy but once again very glitchy we'll go ahead we'll pick cover one man because that's a similar to cover three look and it has very similar results. So we'll go ahead and pick cover one hole. Now for this play, you probably can just continue with the Y route on a streak, but these underneath routes all beat man coverage too. So it really doesn't make sense to lose the check downs. So I'd say it makes more sense to put the tight end on a streak just to pull that safety back. And it'll also pull him back in the area away from where I really want to go, which is the X route. As you can see, he really has a tendency to get past Marlon Humphrey, but Marlon Humphrey's got an X factor, I think, where he knocks out contested catches. But uh, once he runs, if you watch the X route, once he runs into the cornerback, he's officially gone. And then at that point, you just have to get like a, you know, a safe catch or something. Like I said, you can see Marlon, Marlon Humphrey's X factors lighting up as he's knocking these balls out. Uh, but at the end of the day, this route does get passed every single time. And it, because, it comes from this. When he bumps into him, you can see he's instantly passed him. So at this point, you basically just lob it up. And you can see I'm already winding up to throw it. Like I said, if he has a step, it's really there. It's just Marlon Humphrey's the cheat code. And that's why he's knocking it out. I said, if I wanted to, if I switch this and run to the other side with a different receiver, you'll see it'll happen the exact same way. Let's go ahead and let's flip this. Now we got Marlon Humphrey nowhere near that, and watch how Pickens is going to do the exact same thing. Although I really didn't want it to be this way, I didn't want it to be this way. You can see he's getting past the exact same way, and he's actually hanging on to it. So not my fastest guy, which is why he's not scoring. But you can see he gets past every single time. It's very consistent. It's just Marlon Humphrey's X factor stopping it. We're going to do that again, this time against man zero because it works the exact same way. And now we're going to see the exact same results. Got a lot of check downs, so I don't have to make any adjustments. But you can see how, you know, he's getting past him again. I don't know if we'll hang on to it or if the X factor will light up and take it away. But you can see it's the same starting depth that the uh, cover zero does as cover one. They're, they start about eight yards off and it gets open the exact same way. So no matter what particular man coverage, this play can score against it. Now, I said earlier in the video that uh, there are some cover three concepts that are slightly better than the shot fade cross, and that's going to come from either the bench or the tight curl as they basically work the exact same way. I'll go ahead and I'll pick the bench concept, though, first, and then we'll choose cover three. Got to run this from a hash mark to the open side of the field. That's pretty much the only stipulation. If you read cover three, all you got to do is put the X route on a streak or a fade. It works either way. Motion out the B route and then put everybody on streaks except for the Y route because the Y route is going to pull the coverage apart. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get the pass lead that I need from uh, from this receiver or for this quarterback rather, but obviously I did as we get the touchdown. It really is all about the pass lead, especially against a good defense like this. So you can see the guy, you know, the safety is right there. That's why you really want two streaks on this other side. You really have to try to pull this safety over in this direction, but it didn't work out too great. But luckily I get a good enough pass lead that it's, you know, it finds that seam over the top of the cornerback. You really have to bend this ball around that cornerback and it really starts once that cornerback bites on that outside cornerback. From here on, I can bullet and pass it outside, 
But like I said, you really need a good pass lead to get this done. So that's that's the vid. If you guys want to see gameplay of this offense, if you found this video first and didn't see me running it in gameplay yet, click the links. I'm sure you won't be disappointed because I'm dropping 50 on people's heads every single time I use this in these gameplays. So if you want to check that out, you want to learn more about this offense, all you got to do is click the links. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.